guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest today, Patrick Ta. Hi guys. He is a amazing celebrity makeup artist. I actually did a video inspired by you recently too because I love all your looks. I honestly scream whenever because I watch your videos all the time. I screamed when 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 I heard say I my name. <laughs> Yeah, so we have been filming all day together. We did a video for his um, app. So if it's available by the time this comes up, I will let you guys know about it in the description box. We filmed a video for him and we, he was cool enough to film a video on my channel as well. And I'm so excited because I feel like there's so many tips that he has that it's such an honor that you would like share them with people because you know, not a lot of people share their tips like that. So it's really cool that he's here to, you know, do this makeup look. This look is glowy skin, an easy um, shimmery eye, and a bold red lip. So when you pair it all together, what do you say? It's like more like can it be like a little bit? It's. I would say it's like super fresh. Okay, yes. Yeah, let's youthful, go with that. Super fresh, useful. Fresh, <laughs> glowing, sexy, rich, elite, money, Mercedes, money. Elevated. Porsche. That's the kind of look it is. So, <laughs> that'll be the title. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off by moisturizing your face with a little bit of La Mer moisturizer. I'm using the moisturizing gel. I like this one because it's not as thick as oh, like yeah. the, as the cream. I'm, I'm gonna moisturize the lips with a little bit of lip balm. This is our second video. We just filmed. You're a it. champ. Actually, it's my third video. And how much makeup have you done today? Like um, four? I did Gigi this morning. I, did, I just did Shay. I did a video with you. And this is our second video. Honestly, I don't know how you're doing it. Truly. Truly. <laughs> I'm going to start off by priming the lids. I'm using Tom Ford Eye Primer Duo. This is my favorite primer at the moment. I like it because it's not as, like, thick, I guess, as the other ones I've been using. I used to use MAC Soft Ochre. I still love it. I still love it. I love it. I love it. I, I don't want it to look like there's too much going on on the eye, like thick layers of... I know product. I'm mixing La Mer foundation in tan 42, Armani designer lift in number seven, and Kevin Aquan foundation in medium 0F7. I like mix, mixing my own like cocktail of foundations just because I feel like the payoff is better. Maybe just I'm using three amazing brands. So You're we'll just have... bougie is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> So the reason why I'm applying foundation on the eyelid, I'm doing the eyes first, and I really want the eyeshadow to blend in with the with the rest of the foundation. So I'm gonna put this on both eyes. I'm gonna put on a little bit of powder just to set the foundation on the eyelid. This makes it easier for eyeshadow application. With my Morphe palette, I'm using this color as my transition color. I think this is my favorite one. You, you can obviously tell it's the only one that I use basically on this palette. I'm using a NARS dome shaped, I learned that from Desi, dome, dome shaped, shaped brush. Um, I don't know if that's the real name, but that's what we're calling it today. And we're gonna put this right into the crease to create the shape of the eye. I notice a huge difference between the way you shape my eye and the way I shape my eye. I'm gonna have to like really inspect this video so I could see exactly what you did. I'm gonna take the product onto this Dose of Colors brush and I'm gonna push the, push the brush right into the crease, and then we're gonna blend up into the brow, and once I feel that most of the product is off the brush, I can, I can blend freely. So the next product I'm gonna use is this eyeshadow shade. It has a little bit of like a pearly pink, golden undertone. I'm gonna say all the colors, and I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of Fix Plus so that it really just sticks onto her eyelids. I really like it. I, I love applying Fix Plus to shimmer shadows. Makes the color payoff like so much more intense. What would you say your favorite eyeshadow color is right now? Ooh, I really like the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. It's like a little pot and it's bronze. I think it's like number five bronze. So my next shade that I'm gonna be using is called Allison. This is from the Violet Voss Pro Palette. And I'm just gonna take it actually with my blending brush that I've been using for the crease color and just kind of like lightly dust this right over to like kind of intensify the pink that it's already happening right now. <laughs> Didn't do very much, but. <laughs> <laughs> did nothing. <laughs> it did nothing. I'm still gonna put it on the other side just because in case it did the slightest touch. I'm gonna put this color right into the cr crease, further define the crease shape. I'm gonna blend it out with the blending brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this wipe and just clean up underneath the eyes and I'm gonna kind of clean up 
the mess that I made. The fallout. The fallout. Whenever I wipe away, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so what is your tip for glowing skin? I always notice in all your photos, all the celebrities, I mean, they obviously have good skin, but you always make them glow like, a lot. I love mixing a bunch of, hi of, of highlighters together. Cream highlighters under under powder because I feel like it just like makes the makeup like stand out that much more. I'm gonna take a like a little clean blending brush. I'm just gonna blend eyeshadow that we just did just because I don't want any harsh lines. I wanna make sure that, that her under eyes are super moisturized because I remember in the last makeup too, your, your under eyes were a little bit dry and that, con that concealer made it crease a little bit. I can't put the shirt, the shirt, I always call it that. Tarte Shape Tape. Ugh, I can't put it like too close to my under eye because it just like, it's a little drying for me. But I love yeah. it like under here, you know, in the hollows. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the face. A pump of um, Skin Illuminating Foundation by Kevin Aquan. A pump of the La Mer Soft, Lu Soft Fluid Foundation. A lot of pumps going on here. A lot of pumps. A lot of pumps. But it's all worth it. Sometimes, like, I want my foundation to be dewy, but I want it to last long. So I'll add, like, my dew foundation, but then I'll put in, like, my matte foundation on top of it. So then it just, it, it just works. Today I'm, I'm going for, like, a more, like, glamorous look. But when you're doing makeup at home or on clients that don't like to wear as much as makeup, I thin out my foundations with oils. And then I also put it on with, with a brush first and spread it out. I feel like when I dab the foundation right into the beauty blender and then put it onto the skin, I'm putting so much foundation on. If you're breaking out, don't like get a heavier foundation, just, just spot treat it with concealers so then the rest of your face can still look like somewhat fresh and, and natural and dewy and then you, you can just do extra coverage on your breakouts. That's a good tip. You know, anytime I'm breaking out, I do like, I can't control myself. I just start to like, put so much foundation on and by the time I'm done I'm like why did I do this to myself I'll tell this story on my channel because you guys don't know but um, I met Patrick like three years ago sweetest person in the world oh, <laughs> I'm trying to talk <laughs> I like saw a photo of his work on Instagram and it was like the most beautiful makeup because it looked flawless but the person didn't look overdone they looked so pretty and just like the best version of themselves I, I always can tell when it's Patrick's work on a celebrity, like, before I even know that he did their makeup. It's like a certain style. This was before he was doing a lot of, like, celebrity makeup, and I just knew it. I was like, Patrick's gonna be such a big thing. Like, I know he's gonna be doing everyone's makeup, and now he's doing everyone's makeup. Aww. You're so good. Thanks, girl. Honestly, like, I've been dying to do your makeup for so long. I, we, I was I was maybe going to get a chance to do it when for, I think it was the SAG Awards. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She called me last minute. I did, because, you know, I was just like, are you busy? I mean, I knew you were going to be busy, but I thought I would throw throw it out there. That was too big of a party it was to, the, to, be, yeah, have it my, was... to be, like, have my first time doing makeup that week, because what if you hated it? Doing another person who, like, is a makeup connoisseur who just loves makeup and is good at it, you're, you're I mean... You're so amazing. <laughs> um, so it's like so nerve wracking. I'm confident in your ability, abilities. What did you think of that first look? I really liked it. I told you, like, I love the way the eyeshadow but looks. But would you even say it if you, did, if you didn't like it? Well, I told you the only thing that I didn't like. Was the under eye. The under eye. But that's like the concealer. I just can't, I can't put it there. I'm going to go in with concealer now. I'm using the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete. I really like it for highlighting the nose. Damn, that is just straight. For the under eyes, I'm gonna use NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger. I learned in our last video that custard is just way too light. I like to use a little brush to blend out the edges before I, I blend out with my Beauty Blender just because I just like it to look as diffused as possible. Then we're gonna push the product in with the pointy side of the Beauty Blender. Would you say that the Beauty Blender is your favorite um, like face tool for, for sure. foundation. Yeah. For sure. I feel like it just makes everything like more seamless and if you put too much makeup on then you can like kind of like wipe it off. Do you have like a makeup horror story? When I when I used to work at Mac, I would have all these like girls coming to prom and and there's this one girl, she came in with her mom and she showed me like a picture of this look. I thought that I could do it and I honestly thought that she looked great. 
And she's like, I hate it. And I, like, pride myself in, like, always trying to make my client happy. And I could, could not make her happy. And I didn't know what to do. So now I can handle myself. So <laughs> Did you go in the back and cry? Like, no. <laughs> One of my first clients in L.A., I did her makeup. I'm not going to say who. I left, like, crying. I, I thought, like, oh, my God. I was so excited to be in L.A. Like, I want to kill it here. I want to, like, make something of myself. And my, my first impression was her. And I thought, that, oh, my God, I'm not going to make it here. Now that I look back. I'm like, oh my god, why did I even cry? And I, and <laughs> you weren't ready. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't. I definitely was not ready for LA. A tip for aspiring makeup artists: When I first came here, I was like, I want to do these people. I want to do these people. I think everything happens in time, and you should never rush anything. You have one chance to kill it on these faces because if I do your makeup and you don't like it, you're not gonna call me again. So for the under eye, I'm gonna apply Laura Mercier powder. This is the the universal translucent. And I want to make sure that the under eye is super nice and pressed in so there's no creasing. I'm gonna do like a light bake. A baby bake? A baby bake. So the next product I'm gonna use, I'm gonna contour the face with Too Faced Milk Chocolate in light medium. And I'm just gonna go into the perimeter of the face, down the hollows of the cheekbones. I like to do like pressing motions because- I noticed that, you do pressing. Because I feel like if I, if I, if I swipe then my like foundation will move. I'm trying to venture out in my bronzer no, category. You, you like, like you like give me sun. I just need to stop using give me sun just so I could explore what's out there. You know what's on the what's on the market. I feel like I don't give anyone else a chance. Do you yeah. hear that? You hear that? You hear Steven? that, Steven? <laughs> he didn't hear it. He didn't hear it. So I'll have to hear it later. We both thought the same thing. <laughs> you better act right. He's not listening. He's still not listening. So I'm gonna apply blush. I'm giving, I'm, I'm doing Warm Soul by MAC Cosmetics. When I pick up my blush, I like to use blush colors that are in the same like family tone, uh, like color tone. Since I'm doing like a beautiful bold red lip, I want to have a little bit of like a red undertone in the blush color. I like the way you do makeup because you can't really see where one part of the makeup starts and the other ends. For example, you know, your blush goes perfectly into the bronzer, the highlight, and everything just kind of like goes into one. Well, thank you. I'm gonna put a little bit of this blush color just right into the crease too, because I always like to put my blush color into the crease. For highlighters, I'm gonna mix two today, I'm, but they're both by Laura Geller. I'm gonna use Gilded Honey, but also I'm gonna use Peach Glow because we are in that like pinky family right now, so. I can, I can blend the two families together. I'm gonna kinda go in a U shape. I'm gonna put it right up on the high points of the cheekbones, and I'm using a Save Me brush. I like to use, like, honestly, eyeshadow brushes to apply. What is the brand called? It's Save Me. Save Me. Save Me, and I like to use eyeshadow brushes to apply um, highlighters just because I feel like the application is a lot more precise. I'm gonna try that. And we're going right above the, eye, the eyebrow. I'm gonna put this right down the bridge of the nose and above the cupid's bow. Take peach glow and I'm just gonna top that. Oh, Katie loves this one. She was using it for a hot minute. I'm really gonna put that right onto the high points. So I'm gonna leave like the above the forehead more of a golden. This is gonna be more of that peachy look. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that same blush brush and just merge the two powders together. I had Desi do her eyebrows before and they're slowly disappearing. <laughs> My eyebrows are literally just like, I've had them on for a lot of hours and through the looks. They're not really even there anymore, huh? So before I finish the eyes, because her, because I think her face is a little bit powdery, so um, I want to just miss the eyes, I mean, miss the rest of the face with Fix Plus, just so it gives it a chance to melt, melt melt into her skin. So are you gonna hook up my eyebrows or no? You're just gonna leave me like looking bald. <laughs> just tell me. <laughs> um, girl, I don't think you might have to do that yourself. <laughs> no, I'll hook it up, girl. Just like touch me up, bro. <laughs> I hate doing eyebrows. You do? Oh mm -hmm. my God. It's so interesting to know. So I'm gonna go in with chocolate brown for underneath the eyes. So I'm applying this right underneath the eyes and I'm using that NARS brush. I use this brush for everything just to like blend out underneath the eyes. And I'm gonna connect the two towards the end. I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Soft Brown. I'm just gonna fix the brows a little bit because they've been through a rough day. It's slowly disappearing. You are like the queen of brows, I am not. I have to like perfect brows because I don't have the brow hair, so I have to like actually create it out of nothing. Will you cover your eyelashes for me? See? 
Ooh, this looks so pretty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go go in with the L'Oreal Blue Mist Carbon Black. This is my favorite mascara. It even gives people like you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you about to shave me, or you? <laughs> no, girl. I would never do such a thing. It's okay. You know, I can take it. <laughs> so I'm gonna line the lips while we wait for the glue to dry. Shout out to Glenn Coco. Shout out to Glenn, Glenn Coco. Coco. He did my hair, snatched it. I'm, I'm using Cherry Lip Liner by Mac. Even though I'm not gonna do as as bright of a red um, on the lip, I'm gonna do more of like an orangey red. I think this will still look great. Cherry is pretty universal though. Mm -hmm. I think it works. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, I, I wasn't breathing. I want to say something. So you were there at my oh, seminar. That was and, so funny. And I was lining the lips, and someone from like Instagram stories live. They said, um, "Is there a reason why you don't? You're not making a clean line?" <laughs> and then he said, "I am making a clean." See, so yeah, I'm trying, girl. That was so funny. I am the first to admit I am. I had to like fix fix my lip liner. It's hard to do it on anybody, like to make a perfect lip. I'm using this liquid lipstick in the color 400. This is the Lip Magnet by Armani. Ooh, I like that. That's rich. Do I look expensive? She looks rich. Elite. I love how you can just feel like, ooh, that's rich. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna fix the lips after this, but I'm gonna pop on these lashes before they dry. So we're recycling Kiss Lashes and I don't know what, what. Kiss Lashes and I don't know what. You can find them at Walgreens. <laughs> yeah, you can find these at Walgreens. They, I think it's called Little Black Dress and they're like the new Fox Mink collection. They're really cheap. I like I don't know what better. <laughs> Damn, lashes just like bring a girl to life. And then <laughs> actually add another layer of lipstick. This is Armani Maestra. <laughs> In, in, in 407. So I'm gonna go back to like a bright red because I, I just think this calls for a bright, beautiful red. This would have been a good Valentine's Day look. Ah, oh, I felt no! that. I felt, I felt. Okay, I'm gonna go on this side. I'm just you gonna... just went too far north on that one. Yeah. We're back, people. So you just fixed it with what, foundation? Yeah, I just fixed it with a little bit of foundation and an angled brush. I'm gonna go back in with the lip liner and just go over it again. Like I said, I'm not best with lip Everyone liner, as you mistakes. can see. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. I put a little bit more blush on. I'm gonna do one more spritz on a Fix Plus just for the sides of the face. And then you are finished, Am I girl. done? Yeah. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed having a guest on my channel. I feel like it's really fun to learn tips from other people, especially such great artists. I mean, he does everybody's makeup, like everybody. You guys should follow his Instagram and go check out all his makeup work. It's beautiful. Beautiful. At Patrick Pa. At Patrick. I'll put it, I'll put it around here somewhere. <laughs> hope you guys liked the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go follow him. And I'll see you guys in my next video. You want to say bye? Bye, guys. <laughs> bye.